Happy New Year! Today I'm sharing a 2022 calendar that I created for my mom. This is a stash busting project that you can create easily. I'm Emily and you've found Emily's Paper Caper where we're all about scrapping our stash and getting pages done. If you're new here, I hope you'll consider subscribing. Hit the subscribe button and bell icon now. So I created this calendar. I will link to the 12 by 12 calendar blank that I purchased on Amazon. I had saved an old calendar and just cut out the names of each month and used my stash of borders and stickers to fill out the calendar for the year. Then on each month, I created a layout using extra photos from my stash. This is a picture of my mom's house last January. We had a big ice storm and this was these were photos taken after that ice storm. Sadly, this 60 plus year old locust tree had to be removed because that ice storm created so much damage and this is a picture of the stump after it was cut down in the spring. February is her birthday. We did a couple puzzles that month that were gifted to her by my sister. And then here we are celebrating her birthday with a cookie cake and she's opening her gift. Then in March, more puzzles. This calendar will hang in the room where we do our puzzles. And so it will be fun to look back and see what puzzle we were doing the prior year. April we start to see blooms in the garden and so there's pictures taken last April and May. This border had been in my stash a long time and I thought it was perfect for the garden photo. Then in June here is the lilac tree in front of her house. It also had to be removed this year because it was just dying but I did get a nice picture of it in bloom uh, from last June before it was removed. In July, she had created a beautiful arrangement and put it on her porch. So I took a photo of that and put it here. In August, we celebrated my sister-in-law's birthday. So there's a picture of our group and she and a friend were working on a quilt. In September we were doing this puzzle and it turned out to be very difficult. In October we went and purchased some decorations for her porch. Kelly came to visit and helped us finish this puzzle. November here's a couple of puzzles we did in November and then this was taken on Thanksgiving and then in December Kelly was home and they came out on Christmas Eve my brother came out we also went to the Festival of Lights in East Peoria so you can see that I just used lots and lots of stickers and stash items to create a fun calendar Lots of photo mats and borders were used. And I was able to also use extra photos for the most part. These were extra prints that I had in my stash to create all these layouts. So if you would like to make your own 2022 calendar, I will link to this create your own calendar that I found on Amazon. It's very reasonably priced. I'll just flip through again to point out the borders that I used. I created this one using the heart punch. And then I've marked birthdays with stickers and then some major holidays also with stickers. 
There's St. Patrick's Day, Easter, another family birthday, Mother's Day, and Memorial Day. July 4th, and another birthday. September, there's Flag Day. October with Halloween. November, we have a couple of birthdays and then Thanksgiving. And then I marked New Year's Eve with the ball and Christmas. Keep on scrapping your stash.